Raccoon becomes... Uh, the urge is happening more and more. Every time her cutting knife comes out... Oh... I think this sentence... You guys can't see my, um, mouse pointer. But the every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. If that replacing of the raccoon thing is something to go off of because of her last sentence, she, that could be interpreted as every time I brandish my cutting knife, her urge becomes more excited. And then she mentions the rush of blood. Did she kill the raccoon? No, because then... Classic Pablo, I mean, because... A rush of blood... Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread. Oh, a rush of blood would be the excitement, I think. But she feeds herself. Is she a cutter? Always better to come back. Enticing beauty of cutting knife. See? She's like glorifying a cutting knife all over the place. The bread, my hunger, curiosity. Like, she's glorifying a cutting knife. And she has an urge. She calls herself... She essentially... Calls herself... Or the raccoon is herself now. It's synonymous with herself. Slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon... She becomes excited. She might be a cutter. Maybe just projecting some thoughts here. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. I use the poem as a canvas to express vivid geometry and conveying emotions through them. Excuse me. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well... I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want her to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my unusual hobbies. Yeah, so she was feeding her own urges on something. It's the sort of things that I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing. Okay, so maybe she's not a cutter if they're embarrassing. Uh, that's not necessarily true. People would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Big Papa? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I like manga or anime. Is that what he's going to say? I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, I had learned to embrace my own weirdness. I probably hate myself. Yeah, embrace the weirdness! Being normal's boring. I might be ranting a little bit now. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. Alright, Poop Suki. <clears throat> well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. Wow, she actually is being nice. Using though as a backhanded compliment. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. I don't care. It's trying too hard to be serious. What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to sound just like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this unless you're at Yuri's level. Oh, damn. She just gave Yuri a compliment. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. Tell me. Yeah. You're not, you're not just trying to impress Yari, are you? Yeah, and Sayori. What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. You know, Yari would love this kind of. This is angsty. <laughs> just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean. Uh, uh, I mean. Uh. Looks like I'm in trouble again. Fuck! Are we gonna have another fight? 
Maybe I should just like balance out the poems and maybe the fights stop. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you! Okay. Natsuki shoves a poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem! If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me! Jeez. She's such a butt, man. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Oh, damn, game. Getting real here. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit down at the front of the room. Wow, I was totally feeling that, and I was going to say, come sit down in the front of the office. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't, I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. And cupcakes. Bring the cupcakes, Natsuki. Terry has been working on posters and I I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. Oh, that's Natsuki. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Shit. Performing. <laughs> Monica. We're going to have a poetry performance! Uh, sign me out. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also be going to let anyone else come up with and recite poems too. Sarah's pointing at all posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Shit! <laughs> Sarah, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You, di you didn't already put any of those posters up, did you? Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to perform it in front of a group of people like that. Uh, uh, I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared the poems with any until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to it's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud for a whole room full of people. Fuck, this is a winded. I need to catch up on chat. Ugh. Oh man. Everyone does the Eminem joke there. Really? Oh, I thought I was being clever. The line of hands are sweaty is ruined forever. It is. That's totally true. So Yuri is group. Did I... Oh, I might be missing a, a reference there about Yuri's group. I Man, it's hard to comment anything on your reasoning because either confirming or denying the is flowing the fun or you're trying to figure it all out. Yes, please no spoilers. I appreciate it. Grab some shut eye now. Have some fun because you can tell things are starting to heat up. Oh, man. I Hopefully I didn't miss uh, you passing out. Panzer, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the follow. Hope we'll catch you next time. Um, normally, um... I won't be streaming tomorrow, but it looks like we'll probably be picking this up again on Monday because I'm normally I'm over time now. So uh, once this scene or whatever is ending, uh, we'll probably be ending stream. But I appreciate you popping in. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with us. I uh, did that one. I guess it's kind of overlooked at. I'm going to have to like rewatch this VOD. So on Monday so I can remember their voices. So I'm sorry. But. I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of the club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it won't inspire others to do the same. Oh, I thought Natsuki put her hand up. And the more people who perform, the better we will be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Excuse me. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same th feelings that brought you here in the first place? 
I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all takes us standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Nesky and Yuri remain silent. Terry looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sari and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Maybe. But. but. It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ugh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Oh, the dots on the text box have been on, like, skirts and stuff, and I thought it, they were spotted skirts until I just realized it's the spotted overlay just being semi-transparent on their skirts. Nice. Alright! Phew! Thanks, Natsuki! What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Uh, I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Uh -huh, that's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh! You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event! I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. Uh, no, no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your- Oh, this is Monica. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry! I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Haha! <laughs> of course! Now let's see! Monica flips through her notebook to, to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of the poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem! Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before? Is she simply a natural? I glance around. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That... that was so good, Monica! Haha, <laughs> thank you very much! I was just hoping to get set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Hey, Yuri, stepping up. Uh, uh, Yuri's all fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. Who could do it, Yuri? It, it's called image of a crimson eye after image was uh after image and crimson were one of the poem choices you could have made one of the words yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem just a moment ago she practically refused to do this why is she suddenly putting in so much effort because she's awesome as yuri gets past the first couple of lines her voice changes i was gonna say she's gonna sink into it she's gonna be in her zone it's almost like what happens when yuri gets gets absorbed into her books her quibbing words tran transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Dope! The poem is full of twists and turns and in structure and she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse in the whirring, whirling fire that keeps Yuri concealed inside her head. Woo! Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. Oh, it's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me after and give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Yeah! It's not that we don't want to applaud for her, but we were caught off so off guard that sh we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Aww! Yuri, that was really good! Thank you for sharing! Looks- Or, looks like Yuri's down for the count. Oh no! Okay, I guess I'm next then. Larry hops off her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called. All right. This one's called my meadow. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, sorry, I giggled. I fucking love her. She's adorable. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. Uh, how did 
did you guys do it so easily? Ah! Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. Ah, I see, I see. I think I was doing wrong Monica voice, whoops. Okay then. Sayuri so begun begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice has made it was made as a perfect match. Hey, I've been doing a soft voice for her. Perfect. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this poem on, this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's, it's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew th through and through. Sayori finishes, and we applaud. I did it. Good job, Sayori! Even Big Papa liked it. Guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori! The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that the other poems won't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. What? Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, she's trying to empower her. I got it. Oh! All right. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... Well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Don't make me go before Big Papa! It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway! Might as well let Big Papa lower everyone's standards a little before I have to go do it! Thanks! That's the key. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and sit in front of the podium. Everyone who has their eyes on me make me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident with my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyways. Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities, more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll prove over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki... Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're on the podium? <laughs> because you're presenting. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Jump! Do it, do it! Feel it, feel it! That's feel the vibration, that's not jump. Jump, jump, jump! Wow, I couldn't even put that together. Freaking, that's the words of the dang song, jeez. <laughs> Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. Once she's a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. That's cool. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Uh, well, you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem from of other people? I mean, doing it for other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... I guess, in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what's like, what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Why is her skirt floofed up? Uh, yeah, n no problem. Okay, everyone. 
I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out. It's been working out really nicely so far, so let's continue like that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day! I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. Natsuki did the same thing. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Why was that specific to Monica? I've been trying to impress Yuri. Is it random when that stuff happens? Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two always going on together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Eh. Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. Spider! Ugh. I thought it was a, one of the little floaty bits in your eyes. You know? No. And then I focused on it, and there's a little spider coming down in front of me. It must be not a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Big Papa. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry. Sorry. Or, uh, I, dude, I forgot her voice. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Yuri has to walk home with you. Huh? What could you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Yeah. I would walk home with Yuri. Ah! <sighs> Why, game? Well, I can't even justify my way out of this one. Uh, well, Sayori lives right next to me. How does Leary live, man? Like, if she lives across town, how am I gonna get back home? What a dumb choice. I would walk home with Yuri. Uh, I would walk home with... Uh, you can't walk home with Yuri. Because I am... Somewhere else. So I'd be like, okay, do 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 walk you home. Well, now I'm stuck here. Can I get a ride home? To my home? I don't know. Finish today? Oh yeah, we're finishing once we go to bed or it makes us choose another poem. That's when we're gonna finish. Uh, I don't like this decision though. And you know what? Like, she didn't specify for how long. Like, if she said, hey, would you walk home with me tomorrow? Heck yeah, we can do it tomorrow. But if it was always like, will you always walk home with me? That I, no, fuck it. I'll just do a CRE. That's easy solution. Sayori, you really think I would really ditch you for Yuri? Yeah. But she's so beautiful and smart. Yes. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. Yeah, see? It's good for you. I'm gonna just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Big Papa. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri, Yuri would deserve it if she... Would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Siri, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometime. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Mm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Yeah. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? That means over. Ah! It's done!
save. Dum dum ch dum ba dum ch. Oh wow, check it out. I thought there was auto saves. I should probably do that. Little happy little things. Did it actually save what I'm looking at? It did! That's awesome! It's a screenshot! That's cool. Alright, let's quit. And then uh, we'll switch here. Okay, my friends. Um, I'm very confused because nothing changed in um, the game directory either, so I don't know what that's about. But uh, I'm very confused because it's Screamtober, and nah, the only thing that was really scary, scary about that was the poems got kind of dark. So I don't know if I would really consider this a horror game as I was thought it was going to be. Like, I thought people were going to die, and then, like, you could date a ghost or something. Um, but I guess, um, and I kind of thought we were going to finish today, which, wow, I'm 30 minutes over time. So we're not finishing today, um, obviously. I have no idea how far we're in, um, as it was brought up earlier that <laughs> uh, doing the voices and stuff definitely pa adds a bunch of time to it, as well as, you know, interacting with you guys and stuff, but... Um, also, I feel like I'm really blown out today. And also, the game is not exiting. Alright, close the program. It's not responding. That was weird. Um, I don't know, maybe the, the lights are goofy or something. I don't know. Um, but we will probably be going to pick this up again on Monday. Maybe we'll do it on the weekend. I'm not sure. I haven't really thought about that because I thought it was going to be done. Uh, but... If we don't do anything, or we don't play it on the weekend, which I probably won't, because I want to keep um, actual gameplay games on normal stream times, and then the weekends will be, like, weird games like Overwatch or games that we just kind of hang out and play. So um, maybe this one is going to spill over to next week, and if that is the case, then come... I guess we might finish on Monday, so if that is the case, then we'll start playing Curse of Blackwater on Tuesday. So, uh... I guess stick around for that. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, you got to stick with it. All right. Birch and Wes uh, both are saying that we got to finish it. So uh, we'll be we'll be playing it. Definitely. Uh, we got to finish it. I'm, I don't like not finishing games unless they're garbage. And then I get out and this one isn't garbage. It's, you know, it's a visual novel. And I'm just kind of clicking stuff. So we'll just roll with that. But let's get some shout outs here, man. We got a we got a lot of crazy stuff that's happened the last couple of days. What do we got? Mifa, thank you so much for the bits. Birch, thank you so much for the uh, six months. I'm going to have to look at uh, what your rewards are because I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. But I greatly appreciate you. Thank you for the sub. Excuse me. Just Shapes and Beats and Panzer Zoll and Angelica Less. Thank you guys for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Hope you enjoy your stay and hope to see you guys some more. Birch, thank you for the bits. Yuri, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like. I enjoy when you guys come hang out. I enjoy seeing chat going off. I enjoy that you guys are talking with each other and hanging out and interacting with me. It makes the streams uh, that much more enjoyable, uh, not only for me, but hopefully for you guys as well, um, that you don't just, you know, watch some crazy dude just speaking into a monitor <laughs> for a couple hours. Anyways, uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Mama's nose, that's my outro. Look at her, she's getting up. <laughs> uh, I invasive. Hippo head here is Mama's. I don't know where Jada is. She's probably sleeping on a couch thing somewhere, but thank you so much for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!